Well, hello, my friend, and welcome to day 204 of our, our Bible reading plan. We are reading through the Bible in one year together, and I'm so glad that you have joined us on the journey for today. I'm coming to you from here in Palm Springs, California, uh, where I am recording um, with Theos U over the next week or so, Master's course and some different things that we're doing here. So super excited to be a part of that also super excited to hear from you so please let us know where you're coming from and what God's doing in your life through these Bible readings that we are doing together um, as we read through the Bible in one year so Romans chapter 8 and verse 15 to 16 really caught my attention today where it says for you did not receive the spirit of slavery to fall back into fear but you have received the spirit of adoption as sons by whom we cry Abba Father, the Spirit Himself bears witness with our spirit that we are children of God. Two things that I loved about this passage of scripture. Firstly, that we don't need to live in fear, that every time we are fearful of something, afraid of something, um, every time the enemy is trying to make us anxious and fearful, we can be reminded and we can remind our fears, we can remind those things that we are children of God. And so whatever we need as children of God, we can access, we have access to through Christ Jesus. And also the second thing I love about this passage passage of scripture, scripture is it shows us that the Holy Spirit is the one who helps us to remind our spirit that we are children of God. It says that the Holy Spirit bears witness with our spirit that we are children of God by whom we cry out, Abba, Father. And so the Holy Spirit helps us to really appropriate the reality and live in the reality of the fact that we are children of God in our daily lives. So he takes what's theoretical and makes it practical and makes it reality in our lives. So if we're struggling with the whole concept of say fear or anxiety in our life, there's things that we're worried about, there's things that just keep bombarding our mind and trying to like lull us into or pull us into, draw us into a life of fear and a life of anxiety, we can actually call on the Holy Spirit to uh, remind us that not only in our heads are we children of God, but actually help us to apply that to our hearts and our spirit and our soul to live out that fullness as children of God today. Um, I also loved in Hosea chapter 8 and verse 14 where it says, For Israel has forgotten his maker, and built palaces, and Judah has multiplied fortified cities. So I will send fire upon his cities, and it shall devour her strongholds. We see here that both Israel and Judah, the two you know tribes of, of Israel that were split and all of that sort of stuff that we covered already, they forgot about God. They replaced God with something else. They misplaced God, they displaced God, and then they replaced God with something different. And it led to their downfall and their destruction. And in the same way, when we displace God in our lives, when we misplace God in our lives, when we replace God in our lives, and we forget about God, um, that is a one-way ticket to a train wreck in our Christian walk, but not only our Christian walk, but our lives as well. When we start to displace God, misplace God, replace God with other things in our life. You know, especially when it comes to even the basic things in our lives, just prioritizing church, prioritizing the gathering of the saints, prioritizing living out the word of God and living according to the word of God. When we start to misplace those things in our lives, start to say, oh, it doesn't really matter if I live according to the word of God. What does it really matter? You know, that's just a bunch of a book of old rules or it doesn't really matter if I go to church or not. I'm still a Christian. God knows my heart. No, God tells us to go to church. God tells us to follow the word of God. There are all of these instructions that if we follow them, we are allowing God to have his rightful place in our hearts. If we uh, if we don't, we're misplacing God. We're replacing God with our own selves and our own desires and our own flesh and saying, I'm God. I'm going to listen to me. God is not going to direct me. That's such a dangerous place for us to be. We are on a one-way ticket to an absolute train wreck of a life when we start to live that way. So we need to not misplace God like Israel and Judah both did. Um, not forget about God, but actually give him his rightful place in our lives by prioritizing him and the things that he asks us to prioritize in our lives. Um, and so I would love to pray for us today, my friend. I'd love to pray that we, when we are tried, um, when the enemy tries to 
coax us into a life full of fear and anxiety that we would be reminded by the spirit of God that we are children of God not only in our heads but he would help make that a practical reality and experienced reality in our lives and I would love to pray as well um, that we wouldn't misplace displace or replace God and his priorities in our life um, so that we can live in the fullness of all that he has for us. So God, I just thank you for my friend today. I thank you, Holy Spirit, that you're talking to us, that you are revealing your heart to us, Lord God, that you are helping us to live in total freedom and, and to live in the fullness of what you have for us, God. And I just pray today that um, if there's any area of our life where the enemy is trying to um, really overwhelm us with fear and anxiety. Lord God, I pray right now that Holy Spirit, you would come, you would partner with us, you would um, reveal um, to our spirits that we are children of God. I thank you that you would help us not only to know this in our heads, but to make it an experience reality in our daily lives, Lord. I thank you, Holy Spirit, that you would make it not only head knowledge, but heart knowledge to us, Lord God. I thank you that we are children of God, and that means whatever we need access to in you, we can come as your children and grab hold of it, ask you for it, and know that you will, will give us what we um, have need of, Lord God. I thank you, Holy Spirit, as well, that you would help us um, you would help us just to um, not misplace you or replace you or displace you in our lives, but would help us to prioritize you and the things that you prioritize in our daily lives, Lord God. And I thank you, Holy Spirit, when we prioritize you, we don't forget about you. When we put you first, Lord, I thank you that everything else falls into place. When you are displaced, replaced, misplaced, everything else comes undone. But when you take your rightful place and when we make your priorities our priorities god i thank you that everything else follows and we live in the fullness of all that you have for us god we just give you all the praise and we give you all the glory for what you're doing in our hearts and lives today in jesus mighty name everybody said amen amen well awesome thank you so much for joining me today my friend for day 204 of our bible reading plan i will catch you tomorrow for day 205 i'll see you then bye